Okay. Senior counsel, uh, I'm being advised um, that you, you had already consumed your time with the previous witness. Therefore, I'm being advised that you have one hour and 45 minutes to examine all your witnesses. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, could I request then uh, for purposes of this witness that I take 30 minutes and uh, you designate a time for cross-examination so that I can be spared um, time for the next set of witnesses, please. Very well. Uh, that's, that's in order. Uh, what time are you giving for cross-examination? Uh, You've asked for 30 minutes? Yes, for examination in chief. I think for cross-examination they need about 10 minutes or less. <laughs> Speaker, sir, I wish to distance myself from the sentiments from the adversarial party. He had no instructions to enter my appearance. We seek an equivalent of one hour to deal with the culprit. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, a moment ago, my colleague was told that the use of the word culprit is unparliamentary. Uh, I don't know why, why he's insisting on using that word, and I ask for your protection for my client. Senior counsel, um, I think we'll, let's give you 30 minutes to examine your witness. Uh, Cross-examination, I think um, what has been precedence since the start of this hearing is that you will get 15 minutes. But we will, once we get to the cross-examination, at that time we will exam, we'll check what the time is and decide. So let us start with you, Senior Counsel, uh, with your 30 minutes. Uh, but Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, my colleague, Mr. Ndegwa, has repeated the use of the word culprit against my client. I insist this time around that he apologizes. Yes. I don't know why my senior is having a misconception of a simple English word. Because the word culprit simply means a person in Oxford Dictionary. I missed it, but I apologize. Apologies. Have you apologized? Did I hear an apology at the end? No, he hasn't. Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir, I apologize for using the word culprit. Thank you very much. And I will withdraw the same. Okay. Senior Counsel. I, Robert Onsari Monda, do solemnly swear that the evidence that I shall give before the Senate in respect of the matters before the Senate shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Uh, could you tell uh, the Senate what you do for a living? Mr. Speaker, I am the current deputy governor of the Kisi County government. And uh, are you a Christian and of what denomination and uh, a family man? So speak, I'm, I'm a Christian in the Seventh Day Adventist Church, Seventh Day um, worship on Saturdays, and I'm a church elder in the same church for a number of years now. Family? You are a family man? I am a family member with a wife, adult children, and several grandchildren, Mr. Speaker. Now, you are aware of... Uh, sorry, I have, Mr. Speaker, served as a member of parliament in 